Hey guys, Hersey here, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we're unboxing the Lenovo Smart Clock with the Google Assistant. I picked this up on Black Friday at Walmart. Um, it caught my attention. It was like $39, and I was wanting a new, you know, a new alarm clock. And also, yeah, we're gonna unbox it. Um, this is the first I've heard of this. So I don't know much about it. So we're gonna look it around the box. It says includes Calm and Pandora Premium. See offers inside. It says that, I'm not gonna say that because it'll activate my phone. Lenovo, um, as you see here, is just some examples of what you can do with it. Yeah, it says right here, Lenovo. It says YouTube Music um, works with Nest, Pandora, Google Chromecast, Spotify, and Philips Hue. It's just how it looks right there. And some stuff on the side. Uh, there's some more detail on the side. It says right here, model number CD24. Oh, that thing is not focusing. 24501F. Um, it says right there, you see the Walmart. This thing keeps going out of focus. Walmart PD1. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this box. Um, I gotta get this thing where it'll auto focus. There we go. So let's go ahead and cut this plastic off. I waited patiently to open this so I can do an unboxing video. A lot of times I get so excited and I won't do the unboxing and all that. I just want to get into it. So yeah, there's the plastic. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and get rid of this that anymore so yeah here we go i guess it slides open no yeah oh, i do need the knife got rid of it a little too soon so let's go ahead and cut that off all right now we're ready to go so i guess this pulls up oh yeah there we go all right here we go so you're first greeted with thank you for your purchase so yeah, there's a few codes. Three months of Pandora Premium and 60 days of Calm Premium. Nice. That's that'll, that'll be cool. I'll definitely try those out. Here is the clock itself. Um, I'm gonna set it off to the side. See what else is in the box. And the only other thing that's in the box, it looks like, will be the power adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side and we're going to get to the clock here. Um, so there should be a little pull tab somewhere. That's how these normally work. Looks like it's right there or it'll just slide out. Yeah. All right. So here's the clock itself. You see how big it is compared to my hand. You know, it's not very big. I thought it was a little bigger than that, but it'll do the job. Um, so we're going to look around here. As you see, here's the volume up and volume down. Lenovo logo. The back is the power adapter, mic on and off, and a USB port for charging. And then on the bottom, you got these little rubber grips. So it'll keep it from sliding around on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And, uh... I guess we'll go through the setup together. I'll be right back. All right, so I just plugged it in and it's powering up. So you see this material on the round side of it, it. I was gonna say, it's like the, you have a Google Home Mini. It's kind of, it's that same material. So it's nice, it kind of blends. I'm your Google Assistant. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So I guess I'll have to get my tablet to do that. I wasn't thinking about that. We'll be I'll be right back. Let me go grab my tablet. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um so I got my tablet here with the Google Home app. Um so we're gonna go ahead and see what you gotta do to get started on updating this. If you can see this, uh or setting this thing up. Um, so it says right here, it says get the app, download 
and open the Google Home app on your phone to begin setup. And it says down at the bottom, Lenovo Smart Clock 4443. So I guess what you're gonna go do here on your app, you're gonna go click the plus icon. Set up new device. Um, set up new devices in your home. Google Home, Chromecast, Smart Displays. Devices labeled made for Google, like C by GE, Bulbs and Philips Hue, Bluetooth. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I had to blank it out. That showed my address. I was not expecting that. Looking for devices is right there oh dang i can set that up too um google assistant smart clock lenovo smart clock 4443 yeah so that's what we want next connecting to google assistant smart clock all right see it as you see this clock just popped up a code for me to type in so we'll see if it'll show up on the uh tablet here Yep, NK, N2K4, that's right, that's what it shows on the clock. So yes, yes I'm in. So where is this device gonna be? And so you can set up, um, you know, you can set up your, where your location is. I wanna set it up in my bedroom. Or actually, hold on, create new, create new bedroom next. Well, no, I don't want to create a new bedroom. Sorry. That is already the one I already have set up. So, yeah. It says connect to the Wi-Fi you would like to use with your Google Assistant smart clock. So, we're going to be using the T-Mobile Home Internet. Next. Use saved password. Yes. As you see now, it says connecting on the clock. So let me turn this up. So you see, there's the default clock face. It says it's Monday, 3.56. It says press and hold to customize the clock face. So here's the different clock faces you can use. Weather. Oop. There's weather. Clouds. Retro. Eclipse. Contemporary, Prime, oh, did not want to do that, okay, Timeless, um, Modernist, Mono, Featured Photos, Google Photos, and that's, that's not going to be it, so we're going to go back, we'll go back to the default one, and it does have a little edit button here. So I guess you can change the time. It says changes your clock face to dark or bright mode to match the light in the room. So that's basically like ambient light mode. So if it gets dark, I don't know how it tells, but yes. Oh, wow. Well, hold on. All right. So we're going to go back to the dark mode. 
current temperature. Does it show the current temperature? So, oh yeah, you get different options here. How you want it to look done. Mm, home screen ticker. Get reminders, alarm suggestions, and more from your assistant. So yeah, it does show the temperature right there. So you can tap on the temperature and see it says mostly sunny, 54 degrees. You swipe to the edge to go back to your clock. Um, yeah, here's quick features where you can turn it up and down from there, or you can use the volume buttons up here. Swipe down for shortcuts. Set alarm, nap timer, and play music. So let's go to set alarm. I'm going to set alarm for... 3.59 p.m. Just to see how the alarm s sounds. No, 3.59. Whoops. Set. Alright, done. Waking you up in 19 seconds. So you see, we're about to hear the alarm real fast. Right, let's go out of this. Done. So this is what it would be like if it was going off. I don't hear nothing. Oh, there it goes. I think it gets louder each time it does it. So then you're going to hit stop or snooze, whichever one. Set alarm. So let's do four o'clock. Just so I can, I'm just going to, how do you edit the, there it goes. Okay, default tone. Okay, Google, play Kevin LaShawn on YouTube. I guess it didn't hear me. <laughs> All right, check out this Kevin LaShawn, Mojo, Prod, Kevin LaShawn station on YouTube music. There we go. Yeah. So you can play music on it. I don't... Here's the speakers. Okay. Alright, anyways, y'all get the point in that. Uh, so here's the alarm clock. That was it setting up. And, you know, it's a pretty nice little clock to have by your bed for 39 bucks. They do... Lenovo do... Uh, Lenovo does sell a bigger version of this clock that is more like the uh, Google Nest Hub or the, um, you know, the, the Amazon variant of that. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, comment below if you got any questions or any of that. Um, so, this is Hersey. Thank you all for watching my video. And peace, guys.